In this video, I will show you how you can import your PLR articles into CMS Commander and then post them to any or all of your websites. PLR stands for Private Label Rights and describes articles with a license that allows you to reuse them on your own websites. The PLR articles can be bought in packs or found in various other places on the Internet and come in simple text files. You need to store those text files in a folder on your computer in order to import them into CMS Commander. So let's start by going to the bulk content page. The page is split into three tabs, which should be completed one after the other. On the first tab, you build the content. On the second, you can modify and rewrite it. And on the third, you post it to your websites. Once you arrive on the first tab, you need to select what you want to do. In this case, upload PLR content. The other choices I will explain in another video. In the field that appears, you have to select the PLR articles you want to import. Simply click on it, navigate to the folder on your computer where the articles are stored, and then select them all. Then press Go. Now the articles were imported, but not posted to your sites yet. CMS Commander first gives you a preview of the articles and allows you to modify them in many different ways before publishing them. In the box next to each article, you can find several actions you can immediately apply to that article. You can delete an item you don't like, You can go to the post editor to edit manually, or you can apply rewriting with one of the rewriting softwares that CMS Commander supports. You can also go back to the top and import more content from any source and add that to those articles. Like that, you can, for example, add a related image, video, or affiliate content to your PLR articles. I will demonstrate that in more detail in another video. Let's go to tab 3 now and publish our PLR articles. At the top here, you have two small forms, which you can use to assign a random author to each of the PLR articles. Or a random date, for example, to schedule the content. After doing so, you can see the chosen date or author displayed next to each article. The post settings are similar to those in the post editor page. And here as well, CMS Commander will create any category or author you enter that does not exist yet. Date and author here can be ignored if you already applied one to each individual article with the forms above, like I just did with the date. To finish, select the websites you want to post to, and then press Post to selected sites. 